Hey guys, check it out. We got the 3 0 Griffin from Berserk. And by the way, the Hawk of Light looking pretty awesome. Now, this is a 1 6 scale figure, which means it's 12 inches tall uh, for 300 US dollars, which makes sense. You know, Hot Toys go for 250 this, these days. Now, obviously, Griffin is a lot more special than your ordinary hot toys that's for sure so this guy is really gonna be something as you can see here abs pvc pom and some metal goodies of course which is great um this is the standard figure you're gonna be getting the cape the figure itself um in terms of accessories some hair for him the mask another piece of hair the sword and the different hands as you can see not many hands but man check it out here check out the features approximately 30 centimeters tall customized body with 40 points of articulation which that is pretty good highly detailed costume featuring fabric the joints areas articulated health visor long hair made of soft pvc one set of armor that's okay with the wires inside them which means you're gonna have all the articulation you need for the cape so you're gonna be able to do some crazy dynamic poses interchangeable heads one head with the helm one head without it both of the head use the same single bare face piece so you know um i i wish they would have included more heads honestly and you got the sword with the cheat, four pair of interchangeable hands, one pair of relaxed hands, one pair of pointing hands, and two pairs of different grips. As you can see, ABS, PC, plastic, POM, fabric, and metal. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's gonna be using metal, which is pretty awesome. So, I gotta say, the detailing on him looks, looks amazing. Like, I normally don't collect 12 inch figures, but when they did guts, that was so cool. Especially the bloody version. It was so bad that I wasn't able to get it. But this is just awesome, you know. And by the way, guts guts is a lot cheaper. I think guts was like one 130 around that price range. Obviously, Griffin, since he has to use metal and all that stuff, he's can be more expensive here you can see the cape looks beautiful the hair looks great because the thing is that they got the shading of the colors right you know you have um the whites and the blues there looking good check it out here man he looks pointy he looks sharp i i like how they did the armor beautiful because you can tell that it's in different layers just the way it should be Check it out there. Just the eyes, man. The eyes look so awesome. Of the helmet, of course. That's what I'm talking about. That's, you know, that's how it looks. Sword coming out. The handle looks amazing. Check it out there. It's very striking, you know, seeing it here. <clears throat> like this. You got all oh, the leather on it. It just looks great and you can open up the visor feel the face looking good yeah, pointing no maybe he's leading the charge sending some of his minions to go after guts okay like here with the long hair that looks awesome very well made the little eyes, the nose, the lips. Man, and, and check it out here. How the articulation looks there. That looks just so great. And I'm pretty sure you can remove all the armor and all that stuff. So you're gonna be able to recreate a little bit more from the series. Sword looks sharp, looks pointy, so it should. 
But if for some reason you want more, there's a deluxe edition. Yes, there is a deluxe edition, which is gonna be even more expensive. In fact, they don't have um, the pricing here. On the looks of it. Now, what is the exclusive here? Well, you're getting the Chrism Beheret with fabric necklace string, a diorama base, a fabric flag with metal wires inside it, accompanied with a metal pole that can be attached from the diorama base, and a sword that can also be detached. And what they're talking about is this. This is the base. Looks pretty nice. This is the flagpole, which is pretty awesome that it has wires inside and you can move them around. That's great. Uh, of course, you got the symbol of the Bang of the Hawks there. And it, it just looks awesome because you can tell it's on the snow. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. Um, do they give us a closer look or not? These are pretty much ones we already saw earlier so no um but man i like how it has the snow a little bit of the rocks there you have um some vines here it, it looks great looks so good and of course here you can see the necklace with the bear right there so as this removal you can put on the figure and it'll be pretty nice even if you know, I'm pretty sure that at this point it should be Fento, but uh, they they they're probably not gonna give us a Fento figure because um there is there's a problem between the legs and um you know might be a little bit too graphic for them to put out. Um, you can see that there's also this skull design in there, which is pretty awesome that they put something so small in there that's so cool the sword of course that you can have it here or you can have him wielding it that's that's the cool thing now this sword obviously is just uh, uh, like like it says a, a sword it's not a special sword or anything like that well the manga is still going on so we'll have to wait and see what you know what's gonna happen further on the story this sword might play a part probably won't but we'll see We'll see. Um, but again, they did not list the pricing for the deluxe edition, which is pretty weird. Let me check here. They have a pricing for the deluxe. And this is the exclusive global. Yeah. It's gonna be exclusive one and no pricing. No, no pricing. Um, Okay, so you can pre-order it and go get it at these exhibitions. You know, you got Comic Con International San Diego, so 1923. You got the Tampei one, Annie Kong, and Games Hong Kong. Um, there should be one in Japan, and we got the one for so PopCon here. So. Those are the dates if you're gonna go your uh, 3CO's website and then you know pick it up at the conventions but still it's pretty cool I I don't think the DX version you know it, it, it does add to it but I don't think it would be like a must get and, and since you have to go to the conventions here then that's the big problem but man the pricing what could be the pricing let's say if anybody here has mm, no no by the way dude free zero only makes um one six go and they're pretty darn awesome trust me i have the three zero robo duo shin getter one black version that's it, it, it's so cool for a robot but yeah i mean expected 
deluxe edition to be fifty dollars or maybe a hundred dollars more. So if we're gonna pay, you know, three hundred, four fifty, five hundred. Just depends. Remember that you have to add taxes, shipping, and all that stuff. If you're going to go to the conventions to go pick it up there, obviously, you have to add that to your expenses you're gonna have there. So that's how it's gonna work. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, this figure is awesome. The Guts one is amazing. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna do a really amazing job with this one. Um, but... I'm keeping my 12 inch figures, you know, for the robots, for the super robots. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.